Hebrews chapter 11, verse number one. Jesus. 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 Look at this. He said, now, faith is the substance of things hoped for. The evidence of things not seen. Let me break this in a few minutes and I'll start us praying. Ba, 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 ba. Hope, faith, faith, hope, faith, hope, faith, hope, faith, hope, faith is hope for faith is the substance of things hoped, hoped, hoped for. I have seen the scripture, read it several times, and didn't understand the depth of it. Not until recently. Let me say that you are not waiting on the Lord. The Lord is waiting on you. Hey. When we say we're waiting on the Lord. I, I, I think that's a wrong application. The Lord is rather waiting on us. When you're waiting on it's like God... God was the one that missed the way. And you're waiting for him to find back his way. Waiting on the Lord sound to me like I'm in a restaurant. We had an appointment. I and the Lord had an appointment and I'm waiting on him. I'm waiting for him to arrive. No. He's always on time. You were the one that walked out of it. So God is the one waiting for you in the restaurant. We don't pray to wait on the Lord. We pray to align with God. Because he's never late. He's never out of plan. He's never out of his design. He's never out of purpose. We are the one that walks away. By reason of the pain and the limitation and the infliction, what we are going through takes us away. At some time, we have substitute for the plan. And then we shift off. By reason of trending matters. Oftentimes, we get out of the plan because it doesn't look like it. Because most times, the plan of God doesn't look exactly it, 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 the Bible says his ways are far higher than our ways and the ways of the Lord. So most times we, we just jump out of it. It's a faith, it's the confidence that what we hope for will actually happen. It gives us assurance about things we cannot see. Wait, wait, wait. I, I, I need, I, I don't, don't go too far because I need to break this to you. I used to think that the subject, the main subject, the main point of this scripture was faith. That a thing begins a scripture does not make him the father of it. Check very well. Faith is not the main man. Faith is a supporter. The main man here is hope. Look at it. Say faith is the confidence. Is the confidence. It's not faith, is the propeller. Faith is the process. Faith is what helped me arrive at hope. Whenever you start losing hope in life, you will lose faith. Come on. Faith only drives in the direction of hope. Faith. A man without a hope cannot maintain faith. Am 
I talking to you? Faith in God. God is our hope. So we have faith. Saving. Not because of faith. Faith on its own has no capacity. It's faith is the driver that carries us through the process of time into hope. So the main thing is hope. What is happening to you is lost of hope. What you had hope when you were small, you were young, you were going to be this, you're going to be this. So what made you lose faith, lose hope is because you tied time to read. You were the one that told yourself when you will get it. Not God. God had original plan for Abraham that he was going to design a miracle such that it will be in the record of the book that he can still give child in the old age. Abraham was originally planned from the destiny, from time that I want to use you as a miracle. I want to use you to prove to the world that I can still do things even when everyone has given hope, lost hope, even including you, I can still do miracles. So God has planned that. Meanwhile, Abraham have had his own calculation by reason of humanity. This is how he used to walk. If it's not this time, it's late. If it's not this time, it's not it. So Abraham has already lost hope even when God came by himself to speak. Why? Why did Abraham, what was it? Go to Genesis. If you go to Genesis, why did, why did Abraham, look at Genesis. Look at Genesis chapter number, number 17. I need to show something. I, I will pray in a few minutes. My prayer is that every time I spend with the word of God to teach you, you will understand what I'm understanding. And when Abraham was nine, 90 years old and nine, that was when law appeared. Can you imagine? Do you know when he started waiting on the Lord? You have not even, you are in, you are in kindergarten waiting on it. Is it that you are called waiting on the Lord? You see, he was old. The Lord appeared to Abraham and said unto him, I am the almighty God. Walk with me. At this time, you are still telling me to walk. No, no. No, what we are asking for, sir God, master Jesus, God of heaven, sovereign God. We are not asking for walk. I have been walking. We are asking for answer. What do you feel like when God finally shows up in your house? Is it not some your uncle that you've been expecting for so long just showed up from the US? And then you were thinking that as soon as he comes, you cease from struggle. Then as soon as he arrives, you say, Hey, you now say, hey, wisdom, it's time to go to farm. We were thinking when you come, we'll stop farming. As soon as God said, hey, bam. He said, walk before me and be a perfect. What? I have been perfect. I've been tried. Look at verse. And I will make thy covenant. I will make my covenant between me and thee. And we'll, no, we don't need more salmon now. Have you ever got to the point that you go to church that you don't tire for the message, the prophecy don't tire you? What was God giving Abraham here? Prophecy now. He didn't have more prophecy. He, he remained Abraham go tell God, say, I don't hear him before. He said, I will make it, I make covenant. He think he didn't know about covenant. Has he not circumcised himself? He has now. What was circumcision? Was it not covenant? That was covenant now. God was not still coming and saying, I want to make my covenant. I will make that one I made. Was it not your covenant? I don't know if you're understanding me. You are make you made new covenant upon covenant, and God says you still have to make more. That's not what Abraham wanted to hear. Give me verse number three. And Abraham fell on his face. This guy still fall. In me, I don't fall. Abraham fell on his face and talked with him, saying, "Look at what he was saying." Abraham was in the, in worship. Started saying, "As for me." Behold, my covenant is with thee. That shall be a father of many nations. That's God said. Never shall, neither shall thy name anymore be called Abraham. God was talking to him. But thy name shall be called Abraham. 
not no more Abra, but Abraham. For I, for a father of many nations, have I made thee? Hmm. Okay, oh. another see one. And I will make thee exceeding fruitful. And I will make it. Can you imagine? So, what was God trying to build? Eh? Hope. He noticed that hope was lost. He knew that I come. Faith does not work where there's no hope. He was saying, "Let me build your hope again. I will make you." He started giving him good, so that see, hope is the excitement that we'll get it, even when we are not getting it. It's not faith. What believers are lacking is hope. You know, most especially when you hear that Jesus is coming back. You don't. You know, in this moment, when you hear him, we see the way. No, they add very soon. Very soon. At that time, I almost didn't go to school, sir. Because of Jesus coming back very soon. And yesterday, they told us there's no need. Jesus is coming back very soon. Just serve the Lord and don't go to school. You see, if you come, there's no need of education. There's no school in heaven. I told my mother, I want to serve the Lord and not go to school. What foolishness. Hope. The Bible says, for the glory. Another name for hope is glory. For the glory that was set before her. For the hope. You can't endure what you cannot see what you're going towards. What did I come to tell you? Build back your hope back. Put it back. You see that vision you saw when you were small? It can still happen. Your problem was that you calculated time. God, the one that is, the one that gave you does not work in time. There's no time. He does not, he does not have January, February, March. It can still work. You were the one that placed time to it. Hope. Look at it. It's a faith. So, so, so look, look at what you, God will say. He said, I will make you, make the nation of thee, and kings shall come out of thee. He was trying to build hope. Keep moving. Keep moving. I'm going somewhere. I wish God would help me to finish work. And, and I will make, I will give thee, and a blah, blah, blah. Can you, can you run to verse number 14? So all of these promises, if you read, because of time, run to verse 14. Verse 14. So, and the, so, and, and the circumcised man, man child whose flesh of his um, foreskin is not circumcised that then that's that soul shall be cut off from his people he had broken my covenant so after he has shown him the promise the hope he started building faith to go through faith is what helps us go through you see, see if you will suffer i will I'm, I'm about to bring you to the expected end but i'm to get there there used to be pain. But see, the only reason you will survive the pain because there's, what is this, the name of this drug they shook you so that when they want to do operation. Eh? And, yeah, because that is not, in, is not available. I, I was told that those days, any time when they want to do operation, what they will bring, if it's a woman, if it's a man, they'll bring a woman naked to do dancing before you so that you have hope. So when, when they will not allow the woman to be talk, if it's a husband or a, a, a man, they bring your wife. Your wife uh, will just be, sorry. <laughs> sorry. And then when, when the, then the man will just be focused on the hope why they are operating. So they try to look for something that can distract you. Hope is a good distraction. You see, because until you, what has got you stop believing is because there's nothing to believe anymore. Kayadaba, I came to rise you up. I came to tell you that same prophecy you received that you are going to be God of this. You're going to be king. You're going to be that. You're going to rule in that face, in that field. God said, I should tell you, build it back because I'm about to bring it to pass. I'm about to make it happen. I'm about to make it happen. You see, I, you, you, you delayed what I wanted to do because you cut off hope. And the Bible says, look at what it says. Without faith, it's impossible to please God. Wait, let me relate it where. 
without faith, not is impossible to believe in God. Mm -mm. God is the doctor. Remember? Paul say he put buffet. He gave me a gift. So without faith, it's impossible to allow doctor to do his work. But the faith is what I need to go through it. But the faith in itself cannot go through it. I don't, I, am I teaching good here? Are you understanding? So, when you say, faith without faith is impossible to please God. Without faith, without faith. No, sir, you're not getting it. Without hope, faith is impossible to please God. So, I've got to see. I keep need to see. What is keeping me preaching here is what I'm seeing. 10,000 membership in two years. So, I'm firing. I'm firing. Two persons sitting. I preach. I'm not preaching because I am. I'm preaching because I want to preach like that even more. Are you still here? My hope is alive. So faith, I'm going through what is going, I'm going through because I know. Look, look at it. And the Bible said in verse, no, go back, go back, go back to verse, verse number 16. If I'm not mistaken, I don't have all the time to read all of that, but I wish I could just show you what the promise is here. Look at it. And but now they desire a better country. That is, no now, we've been in 17. We've been in 17, Mr. Mr. King. And we've been in 17. 17? Is that where you've been reading? No. You've been reading 11. Eh? Show me 17. Chapter 17, verse number 14. Help me. I'm already out of time. Let me end this where? Genesis. Ah, yeah. So, move to verse number 16 now. Verse number 16. Verse number 16. And I will bless her. So it was not talking about the, the wife. Where the fruit. I said, I will bless her and give thee a son also of her. Yea, I will bless her. And I shall bless and, and she shall be a mother of many nations, of nations, kings and kings of people shall be of her. Wow. That was hope. God was just God. Can you see how long God is still trying to build hope back? And, and Abraham fell on his face and laughed. This time he was laughing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> ah, God, God. Mighty God, Lord God. <laughs> the master of wars. You, you have wars. <laughs> Lions, God. Oh, Lord. Forget that thing. No, that was the meaning of that laugh. Wow, that was wrong. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? God, uh, <laughs> I was saying the lie. <laughs> That was the meaning of that. It was a laughter of jest. <laughs> wow. He do not have a dream without toy. You have toy all night. I'm a fisherman, Jesus. You are just a preacher. We toy all night. But where? Look at what happened. <laughs> Nevertheless, <laughs> make you be say, no, be not say, you talk and not do. Make a, look, at, look at what he did. Oh, I wish I could show you that scripture. I don't have time. I need you. Oh, chai. But yo, this thing is too plenty inside my head. <laughs> if you see the way, if you see the way, can you give me that scripture? I think that's John chapter 5. We'll come back to here. Are you in a hurry? You're in a hurry. You're in a hurry. I'll close you. Don't worry. I will. Let me extend my time by 10 minutes. Can I use 10 minutes to finish what I want to do? Is that okay? Give me, give me John 5. Give me a job. And Simon answered and said unto him, Master, hmm, we have thought <laughs> all night to leave this thing. The same thing God, G God was trying to tell Abraham. That same thing he was, Jesus was telling Peter. Ah, we have thought all night to leave this thing. You see, we they catch fish. We will know how fish they move. See, sometimes you, you, you are, you are too low, that be your problem. I see, you are too high ticket. You too low. And the Bible says, it was told all night. Um, and I've taken nothing. Meaning this night, no fish day. Well, nevertheless, at that word, I would um, I let down the net. 
Go to verse 3. Look from verse 3. Let me tell you. Let, let, let's see what. Verse 3. Verse 3. Verse 3. And he entered into one of the sheep, which was Simon, and prayed him that he would thrust out out a, a little from the land and he sat down and taught the people out of the ship. Go to verse 4. I need you to get a base of the story. Now when he had left speaking, he said unto Simon, launch out into the deep and let down your nets. Not your net. Meaning, pull all your triggers. You will get them. Invest all the money. Don't mind what MMM did to you. You, you know what? <laughs> you know when MMM don't crash? MBA 2 can't crash you. Then God is now saying, put in MGOD. He said, that sounds like God, but I don't trust him too. <laughs> I don't trust him. What they have done to me in this life. Do you know some, sometimes what, what we are suffering is as a result of what we've been through. Look at this. He said, let down your net. Not net. For a what? A draft. Now, go, go to verse number 7. After he now said, okay, I have been here. Nevertheless, he said, and they no, go to verse 6. Sorry. So after he said, nevertheless, and when they had done this, no, go back to verse 5. I think I'm missing something. And Simon answered and said, nevertheless, blah, blah, blah. I, I, at thy word, I will let down what? The net. A single one. I'm not going to feed. I can't come and kill myself. He let down, what was the instruction? Nets. What did he throw? Net. The Bible says, even at the net, Kai, 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 Kai. God have mercy. He said, even with the net, I told you net. But you you did you allowed your hope to be dashed. The Bible says, hope defy, make the heart sick. The Bible says, he, he let down the net. Look at verse number six. Move now. Just keep moving with me. Keep moving. Mike, Mike, Mike. There you are. You're the one holding me there. And when they had done this, had this done, they enclosed a great multitude of fishes. And their nets. Why did he ask him to put nets? So that he can distribute it so it will not break. So that he can, he could put the portion of, because if he had thrown nets, there wouldn't have been a breaking. He said, their nets break. Why? Hope the fire can make you make wrong decisions. You calculate with your head when you start. Hope the fire. Your faith is now dry, dragged to the mud. When hope is lost, Faith is dead. And faith without works is what? What will make a man keep working is not faith, it's what hope. Hope became the subject of that scripture. Let, let me say this thing tonight. And I close. So the Bible says when, when God started saying that to, to Abraham, Abraham fed and laughed. Say, God, you said you're funny. The same way Peter laughed, laughed. You are buried now, but you are king. You've got kings. You're buried now, but you have nations in you. You're buried now. That was what, take me back to Genesis. That's what God was saying. That's what God was saying. He said, you're empty now. The empty hand is not a proof that your hope is gone. I know what I put in you. It, 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 it was saying, see, I delay process does not mean I take away the blessing. Hey, 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 hey. Hey, 
keep the keep the scripture. I, I want to say what it is. Abraham fell on his face and, and and said in his heart, "Shall a child be born unto him and that is a hundred years old, and shall Sarah and that is ninety old years old be?" Keep moving. I, I need you to move. I'm going to twenty two. And Abraham said unto God, "Oh, that Ishmael might live before thee." In other words, I have substitute. Are you talking about that one? that I have arranged because the truth is this when hope is dashed we start looking for how to help God Ishmael became the problem and still the problem today because it was a help may you not may you not raise something that will destroy your destiny look at it say that and they say since God has refused to give us child now. Let's just have one child. Anyhow. They went and took Hagar. Bam. That is the Boko Haram now. It's the Boko Haram that we're having problem. Because we couldn't wait. Why? Hope is that. May your hope be revived today. Yes. It's, and God said, Sarah, thy wife shall bear thee a son. I'm not talking about Ishmael. That was your mistake. This is your miracle. I won't use your mistake. I will use my miracle. He said, I will, he said, bear thee a son indeed, and thou shalt call his name Isaac. I'm not talking about Ishmael. I'm talking about Isaac. Don't mistake him. I, this, I have Zeke and Ishmael. Ishmael is not Isaac. He said, and I will establish my covenant with him for everlasting covenant. And I will, and with his seed, after him. Keep moving. I'm going to 22. Keep moving. This. And as for Ishmael, I have heard thee, since you want me to bless him, you want me to bless your mistake. I will bless your mistake without your effort. That is what they call permissive will. If you want me, since that's what you want, I will, what did he say? I've heard thee. If I say take this and you say you need this, okay. I will what? I've heard this. You need it. Behold, I will I have blessed him. I will make him what? Fruitful. And multiply him exceedingly. Twelve prince, princes shall he begat. And I will make him a great nation. Not be what you want. No other. But my covenant I will not make with him. Don't lose covenant for anything, friends. My covenant will I establish with Isaac, though he's late. Get the covenant above just blessing. My covenant will I establish with Isaac. Which Sarah shall bear unto thee at this set time in the next year. Somebody is receiving a blessing in next year. I know next year looks so far, but it begins from now. And he left off talking with him, and God went up from him. Matter don't end. Matter don't end. Let me conclude tonight. So what was he trying to say? You may be barren, but there's a king in you. He started saying, I'll make a nation out of you. Blah, blah, blah. Where was he going to make it out? Out of him. Did he say, I will put a nation in you? Talk to me now. Did he say, I will put a nation in you? He said, I will make out of you. Meaning this nation was inside. I put it in you the day I created you, but I delayed it for a set time. Oh, sha. Oh, sha. You are calculating my timing with the timing of men. All my friends have gotten it. Everyone are there. No. Don't you know that your destiny is different? Don't you know that what you're wired for does not need hurry? So can I say what I want to say? People that will last long. The 
earlier you start manifesting, the earlier you end manifesting, 